Cats Money Army, I have an amazing app to share with everyone. Fetch Rewards allows you to earn money for scanning your old receipts. Now, I may have talked about this app in one of my previous videos, but I don't believe I have actually walked you guys through the cash out process. So for the purpose of this video, I would like to review the Fetch app, the website, as well as cashing out to show everyone that this is a legit app. Oh, before we continue further, please do me a huge favor, smash the like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. All right, guys, the first thing we'll do is to review Fetch website. The best way to access the website is to click on my referral link below. You will get some rewards. I will also get reward right on the Fetch homepage. Notice there are two app versions. There's one on the App Store for iPhone, and there's also one for Google Play. Now, I have already downloaded it for my iPhone and also my iPad. I felt like the mobile app itself has more functionalities than the website. In fact, I don't believe the website even lets you cash out. The website is more of a landing page where Fetch wanted to promote their app. All right, let's see what else we got here. Okay, it has over 4 million reviews, and it looks like it's a 5 stars here. It's kind of hard to judge it based on the Fetch website because they're being biased themselves. But let's check out this video here, Fetch 3.0 version. Okay, so it looks like maybe the Fetch app's been updated recently. So let me scroll down further and right here explain how fetch works. Number one, snap receipts. Step number two, shop offers. Step number three, cash out. Yep, as easy as one, two, three. And I've cashed out last time actually. And let's see, there's some kind of fetch with friends. Jump into the social side of fetch and earn rewards together with your favorite people. Yep, I've seen that. Oh wow, there's over 500 brands. And when we click on brands, it lists some examples here on the website. And there's different categories too, like baby, baking, frozen food, grocery, retails. Okay. Let's click on the rewards tab. For okay, rewards, they offer free gift cards. Okay, they have a lot of popular brands. I'm sure a lot of you guys heard of already. Amazon, Target, Walmart, Starbucks, Alta Beauty. I'm not sure which one is this here. Oh, Airbnb, Dunkin' Donuts, or just Dunkin'. CVS, Chipotle, Uber. All right. What's this? Unleash. Okay, Unleash apparently opened up a separate site. Well, I guess it's blog.fetch.com. And I guess this is their news or media coverages. But let me click on the back arrow and go back. Okay, and then get the app. Yeah, so it looks like the website is limited on functionality. Their mobile app seems to offer the most features and the website is limited. Um, but yeah, let's jump right into the mobile app. All right, guys, the first thing to do is to install the app on our iPhone or Android phone. Um, right now, I'm actually demonstrating this with my iPad. So let's go ahead and click on the App Store and type in Fetch Rewards. As soon as I click on Search, Fetch Rewards should be listed on your top row here. So for me, I have it displayed on my upper right-hand area. Let's go ahead and open this up. And currently, it has 4.8. 4 million ratings with an average of 4.8 stars, age 12 and up, ranked number 27 in the shopping category. Okay. And the app itself should have a doggy as far as the icon. It says, Fetch, have fun, save money, you deserve a reward. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, as soon as I launch the app, there should be five different tabs on the bottom side so the first tab it looks like it shows the various offers that it currently has and there's actually a filter here for brands so we can filter our rewards by brands 
Club is another option here. Uh, let's see what else we got. Okay. I have over 20,000 points before this video, but I had messed up my recording, so I'm doing my second take on this. So currently I have 10,854 points. Let's go ahead and click on the points. This screen shows my recent transaction as far as receipts. So last night we went to Royal Farms, you know, we bought various purchases. And in fact, I think it's better for you to not purchase everything at once with one receipt. It's better for you to purchase items into separate receipts. Therefore, it will allow you to earn more rewards. So for example, last night we ordered chicken wings as one separate item and then you know we also ordered ice cream potato chips as a second receipt and then we finally ordered chicken bucket as the dirt receipt and so you know because we ordered three separate times we had three separate receipts and we're allowed to earn points for each receipt looking at the history here i've earned 25 points for the first receipt 25 points for the second receipt 40 points for the dirt receipt and some of these also includes history for e-receipts e-receipts are uh you know stores that you have associated with your fetch account so if let's say you shop at target on the target apps or amazon app by you purchasing something from there their electronic receipts will automatically get scanned through the fetch app so that's where this e-receipts on the right hand side with the blue highlighted Icon, that's what that means. So Target, I had received a 25 points for the e-receipts. Amazon received a, oh, 276 points for e-receipts. And then I think the purple one actually is a bundle of points. So Frito-Lay Simply Variety Pack offer 140 points. We spent about $13.98. Tortillos Tortilla Chip Original Bag. We spent $13.58. To receive 136 points let me go back out to the home page and it looks like more of these receipts were scanned from amazon walmart okay i have one here for woot.com and then the rest of these were for amazon let's click on the second tab okay the second tab displays a history of transactions that were done by me and as well as friends that were referred to this app or maybe even friends that you had um added to your list and then a dirt tab, this is where you would click on to take a picture of your receipt. So the left button is the e-receipt. And this is where you would set up your accounts with Amazon, you know, Walmart, Target. And then the right icon here is the button you would click on to take photos of your receipts actually to earn points. And the fourth tab here shows the history of rewards. So earlier I had tried to film this video, but I realized that while I was filming it, it didn't actually mirror my iPad. So I basically cashed out on the Nintendo store without recording the content. So now this is my second take of recording it and hopefully it's recording it fine for my iPad. And I'm planning to maybe do another gift card again. On October 14, 2022, that's where I've cashed out my first fetch rewards. And then I had until, I had until November 4th, 2022, which is about one month to actually redeem the gift card. And I think it's probably the same for the Nintendo gift card that I cashed out earlier, August 6th, 2023 for $10. I probably have until September 6th to cash out. And now the fifth and final tab is my profile. So this is where it displays the email as well as the phone number that's associated with my fetch account. Uh, there's also a section for notification. So basically when someone click on a referral link, that person will get hundred points. I will also get hundred points. It's a win-win for both of us. So yeah, definitely check out the fetch app through my referral link in the description below. Okay. So let's go ahead and cash out. Let's click on the fourth tab, use points. And you know, we have a bunch of options here. We have your you know, popular stores like Amazon. We have Xbox. Walmart. Let's go ahead and check out Amazon. Okay, Amazon has a ten dollar gift card for twelve thousand five hundred points. That's not bad. There's twenty eight thousand points for twenty five dollars. Fifty three thousand five hundred points for fifty dollars. Hmm. And let's compare that to let's say like Walmart. Walmart. Okay, you need seven thousand points to get a five dollar gift card from Walmart. 
you need 12,500 points for a $10 gift card at Walmart. Hmm. Nintendo Store, okay, Nintendo Store only requires 9,500 points for a $10 gift card. I feel like this is a better deal than compared to Amazon and Walmart for $10. Amazon requires 12,500 points for a $10 gift card. Walmart requires 12,500 points for a $10 gift card. And the Nintendo gift card requires 9,500 points for a $10 gift card. All right, so I might come back and cash out a, another Nintendo gift card. Let's look at PlayStation Store. Okay, PlayStation Store requires 10,000 points for $10. Okay, so out of these offer, these four actually, I would go with Nintendo, but let me just continue exploring this further. Okay, we have categories for restaurants. Okay, restaurants, Applebee's. So we got 4,800 points for $5 gift card. Auntie Anne's, 6,000 points for $5. Okay. Yeah, so notice how some of these offers a $5 gift card, but it involved different amount of points. And this is where I would kind of carefully select the gift card that I would like to cash out because it varies every time. Like you have Bahama Breeze, $10 gift card for 12,500 points. Let me go back here. And I think the minimum cash out, I believe is $3. Yeah, so we have one example here for Red Online Only. They offer a $3 gift card for 3,000 points. $5 gift card for 5,000 points. Let's see if there's anything lower than $3. Okay, so far I can't find anything lower than $3. Yeah, so I think the minimum cash out on Fetch Rewards is $3. I mean, unless if someone can prove me wrong, let me know if there are other offers that are less than $3, but so far I haven't found any. And if you find some, please comment below. Okay, I think I will go with another Nintendo gift card because there are some games I was planning to get. Um, so I've got a Nintendo Switch for my birthday not too long ago. Now, I barely play with it, but I figure, you know, on my days off when I'm tired, I would probably want to spend some time playing video games just to reset myself, you know, to de-stress everything else in life. Go for the Nintendo gift card. I think this one offers the best rewards. So $10 gift card for 9,500 points. Let's go for it. All right, get my $10 reward. Your reward's on the way, got it. Nice. It says redeem on August 6, 2023 at 2.18 p.m. And let me go back to my history. Okay, so this is the second Nintendo gift card that I cash out today. So I had one earlier at 147 where I was trying to record my first video. Okay, but I fucked that up. And now this is my second take. So hopefully this record correctly this time. And yeah, you know, it says it takes your reward will be available only two hours after you submit your reward claim. If you choose to cancel while the reward is processing, we'll refund nine thousand five hundred dollars back to your account. Okay. So there is still a chance for us to cancel it within something two hours, which is about three days. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm really excited about this Fetch app and I would definitely say the Fetch app is on par with the other apps that I mentioned in my previous videos like Eureka, SurveySpin, Respondent.io, User Testing. Uh, but yeah, remember the pro tip is to not purchase everything at once if possible. Purchase your items into multiple receipts therefore it will give you a, a more ways for you to earn more money basically because the fetch app doesn't really care how much you have in your receipt it's more based on the quantity of your receipts not so much quality of the content of it so you know that's all i had for this sunday i hope everyone enjoyed the sunday and i'll talk to you guys next week